A warm welcome to all our viewers. You are watching NLTV News now. First, the headlines. Jal Jeevan Mission organized an awareness program at Woka Village Church on November 14th. Jal Jeevan Mission is a central scheme envisioned to provide functional household tap fun connection to every rural household by 2024. People's Liberation Army and Manipur Naga People's Front claimed responsibility for ambush against 46 Assam rifles in Manipur. Chief Minister Nephew Rio and Governor Jagdish Mukhi on Sunday took down to Twitter and extended greetings to the Sumi community on the occasion of Ahuna Festival. The most modern Gond Queen Rani Kamlapatti in Bhopal, which got renamed recently, will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 15th of November. And now the news in detail. People's Liberation Army and Manipur Naga People's Front claimed responsibility for ambush against 46 Assam rifles in Manipur. The proscribed Revolutionary People's Front Deputy Secretary RPF Publicity Robin Kuman and Assistant Secretary Publicity MNPF Thomas Numai on Saturday stated that the cadres of PLA and MNPF who carried out the attack had no information that the commanding officer's wife and son were in the convoy. Furthermore, added by saying that Indian security forces should never travel with their families at a place which has been declared as a disturbed area by the Indian government. During the attack, six Assam Rifles personnel, commanding officer 46 Assam Rifles Colonel Viplav Tripathi were killed while several others were injured. Nagaland reported 4.4 COVID weekly deaths on November 13th. Health State Health and Welfare Department in a weekly bulletin stressed on the importance of vaccination for prevention of COVID severity such as hospitalization and death. Health and Family Welfare reported 87% unvaccinated COVID-19 deaths in the state during the second wave while only 1.5 fully vaccinated population died. The department further added that among the 12 vaccinated deaths, only 9 were fully vaccinated. Jal Jeevan Mission organized an awareness program at Woka Village Church on November 14th. Jal Jeevan Mission is a central scheme envisioned to provide functional household tap connection to every rural household by 2024. Reports about the ongoing project of JJM in a village under Woka district was received and the construction process of pipes and tanks of the project is in process. Meanwhile, the public inquired about the source of the water supply. They also requested the team to emphasize on the proper and continuous supply of water. Chief Minister Nephew Rio and Governor Jagdish Mukhya on Sunday took down to Twitter and extended greetings to the Sumi community on the occasion of Ahuna festival. Rio in his tweet mentioned that it is time to feast, to celebrate, to express gratitude to the Almighty for a bountiful harvest and to seek his blessings for the coming year. While the governor hoped that Ahuna festival will restore faith and lead to peace and progress. Ahoy. 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 
On the occasion of Children's Day, CM Nephew Rio on Sunday took down to Twitter and said that let us create a conducive environment for our children overall development and enable them to become responsible and empowered citizens. He further wished all the children a very happy Children's Day. Notably, Children's Day or Bal Divas is celebrated across the country on 14th of November, where the day marks the birth anniversary of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, fondly called Cha Cha by Nehru by Children's. The most modern gowned Queen Rani Kamla Patte in Bhopal, which got renamed recently, will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on November 15th. Toted to be the first of its kind in the country, the world-class model railway station will boost off food courts, restaurants, air-conditioned waiting rooms, VIP lounge, escalators and lifts have also been installed at the station to reach the platform. Around 160 CCTVs have been installed at the station to keep 24-7 surveillance. The station will also display a board of different languages on the information of trains. At least 26 Maoists were gunned down on Saturday during an encounter with police in Maharashtra's Gadri Gachi Roli district. According to the senior official, the encounter which began in Godkul Gyarapatti forest in the early hours of Saturday was carried out by C-60 commandos of the police and lasted till late in the evening. Superintendent of Police Ankit Goyal stated that police are yet to confirm the identity of slain Maoists. However, four police personnel were also seriously injured in the action and were taken to Nagpur by a helicopter for treatment. Meanwhile, security forces recovered weapons and other materials from the spot of the encounter. A massive combing operation is underway to detect more bodies of the extremist. The body of an independent journalist and right to information activist Avinash Jha was found in Madhubani, Bihar. Avinash Jha's body was found half burnt, tied and packed in a sack on November 12th. Avinash had been reportedly raising the issue of private hospital mafias in his district. Avinash Jha was a freelance journalist and RTI activist by profession, was also a resident of Benipatte in Madhubani. At the World Powerlifting Competition held on 13th November 2021, Bishek Kyrgyzstan Aditya Raj Sarma, age 21, from Guwahati grabbed three gold medals. He won three gold medals under 90 kg junior full wing power lifting event, under 90 kg full power lifting open category and under 90 kg junior category deadlift only event at 80. 5 kg, he did 200 kg squats, 120 kg bench press, and 240 kg deadlift, totaling 560 kg in drug tested category. Aditya Raj is currently pursuing MA in history from Delhi University. Having passed out from Ramjas College, Delhi University, with first class in history honours, he also won the national gold in powerlifting held at Bangalore in 2021 prior to him winning gold at WPC. Ahead of the Southern Zonal Council meeting, Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Sunday addressed the 20th anniversary celebrations of Swana Bharat Trust in Venkata Chalam, Andhra Pradesh. During his address, Shah hailed VP Naidu for his contributions towards the country and further lauded him for efficiently carrying out his duty as a vice president as mentioned in the constitution. Heaping praises on Rajya Sabha Chairman and Vice President Venkaya Naidu, the Home Minister, said that he has set an example of how an ideal custodian of the constitution should be and further carried out his duties effectively. उन्होंने सभी की भावनाओं का सम्मान करते हुए 
सारी राजनीतिक गतिविधियों से अपने को अलग अलग कर दिया है मगर मैं तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता हूं और वेंकैया जी भारतीय जनता पार्टी के वरिष्ठतम नेताओं में से हैं देश भर के भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रमुख नेताओं में से वेंकैया जी जब राजनीति में थे उन्होंने भारतीय जनता पार्टी का नेतृत्व किया मैं आज आपको बताना चाहता हूं मैं जब जिले का महामंत्री था एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट जनरल सेक्रेटरी था तब वेंकैया जी देश के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष थे और हम सब उनको राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष के रूप में काम करते हुए देखते थे मैं बहुत बचपन से भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता बना लगभग लगभग समझ आई तब से इसी विचारधारा से जुड़ा मैंने भारतीय जनता पार्टी की गतिविधियों को बारीकी से देखा है और मेरा सौभाग्य रहा बाद में मुझे भी पार्टी का अध्यक्ष बनने का मौका मिला तब पार्टी के अंदर जितना भी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन था उस वक्त सारे मेरे पूर्व अध्यक्षों ने जो काम किए थे उसका मैंने डिटेल स्टडी करने के लिए एक टीम बनाई थी और उसका मैंने भी स्टडी किया था मैं निसंकोच कह सकता हूं कि वेंकैया जी के अध्यक्ष रहते हुए पार्टी बैक टू बेजिक्स की ओर गई और वहां से पार्टी का ग्राफ ऊपर बनना शुरू राजनीति के अंदर कोई भी विचारधारा के आधार पर जब पार्टी बनती है तब आइडियोलॉजी आइडियोलॉजी का प्रचार प्रसार उसका इंप्लीमेंटेशन A CCTV footage captured a surprisingly unique episode where it can be seen that a thief prayed to God before allegedly stealing a cash box from a temple in Maharashtra's Thane city. Police clarified this on Sunday after examining the CCTV footage of the premises. The accused broke into the temple of Lord Hanuman in Kopat area of Thane on the 9th of November 9th and allegedly stole the cash box containing about rupees 1000. An official said, quoting a complaint by the temple's caretaker, the CCTV footage of the place showed that the thief praying before the god's idol before stealing the cash box kept there. A clip of the footage also went viral on all social media platforms. The Nawpada police station arrested the accused on Saturday and recovered the stolen cash from him. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra on Sunday visited Mayawati in Delhi to offer her condolences after the Bahujan Samaj Party leader's mother died from heart attack failure the previous day. In a video released by the party Gandhi is seen having a short conversation with the former chief minister of Uttar Pradesh which ended with Gandhi saying I will visit again. This comes during the often bitter election campaign ahead of the UP elections next year. When Gandhi announced that women will get 40% of the election tickets mayawati called it nothing but election drama she added that if the congress party was really concerned about inclusion then why did their government not make a law to give 33% reservation to women in parliament and legislative assemblies <laughs> Five people sustained burn injuries after a LPG cylinder caught fire and exploded on Sunday morning in northwest Delhi. The incident took place in Bag area of Azadpur. According to the fire department, they received a call about the blaze around 10 a.m. The injured were rescued and rushed to the nearby hospital at the soonest after the firefighters arrived and the fire was dosed off.
Thankaranjan N, a native of Udyang Kulangar in the Thiruvanthapuram district of Kerala, lost his life after a landslide hit Kerala's Ernakulam district on the 14th of November. Kala Maseri police notified that only one casualty has been confirmed and no other casualties or injuries so far. Police further stated that the deceased is a lorry driver and he usually parks his lorry on the same road where the landslide occurred. The incident occurred near the NH-47, added the police. Madhya Pradesh CM Shivrat Singh Chauhan on Saturday said that the low that the cow as well its dung and urine can strengthen economy. He further said that the government has deployed cow sanctuaries and shelters but requires participation of the society. He also added that veterinary doctors should engage in result-oriented work which could result in profit for small farmers. गाय बैल इनके बिना काम चल नहीं सकता सरकार ने अभियारण्य बनाया गौशाला है बनाई लेकिन जब तक समाज नहीं जुड़ेगा तब तक सरकारी गौशाला उनसे काम नहीं चलेगा हम मदद में सारा जगाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं अब अमूल इसका उदाहरण है आपने बताया कि ये गाय से गोबर से गोमूत्र से हम चाहे तो अपने खुद की अर्थव्यवस्था को भी सुदृढ़ कर सकते हैं और देश को भी आर्थिक रूप से सक्षम बना सकते हैं वो हमको स्थापित करना पड़ेगा इस क्षेत्र में आप काम कर रहे हैं और बहने इस क्षेत्र में जब आ गई गाय की बैल की पत्तों की चिकित्सा भी करेंगी तो मुझे निश्चित लगता है कि आज भी तो कल सफलता हमारी सुनिश्चित है वो पालन Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to Jawaharlal Nehru on his birth anniversary. The nation observed 132 birth anniversary of the country's first Prime Minister. The Congress too paid tribute to Pandit Nehru, who served multiple terms as its national president. Congress interim president Sonia Gandhi also played floral tribute to Pandit Nehru at Shantivan on his birth anniversary. Amravati city in East Maharashtra was put under indefinite curfew on Saturday and internet services blocked for three days. Following violence during a bond call by the BJP with a mob overpowering police to damage shops and private properties. Maharashtra Home Minister Dilip Walse Patel said on Sunday that the situation in violence hit Amravati was under control. The BJP had called the Bandh against stone pelting on Friday during rallies held by Muslim organizations in various districts of the state in protest against the recent Tripura communal violence. A rifleman named Katne Koyak was killed in an ambush by terrorists in Chura Chandpur district near S. Senken village on Manipur on Saturday. Notably, Katne Konyak belonged to Zangkham village in Mon district of Nagaland. Furthermore, his mortal remains will reach his native village on Sunday. Lieutenant General P.C. Nair, AVSM, YSM, DG Assam, rifles convened heartfelt condolences to the families of the brave shoulders who made the supreme sacrifice in the line of duty in Manipur. Ahoy. 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 
Actor Sonu Sood announced that his sister Malvika Sood will contest the Punjab polls which are to be held early next year, but was tight-lipped on the choice of party. As we know that the actor whose work during the COVID crisis has earned him goodwill. However, in the past, the actor had met Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, who declared him brand ambassador for a Desh Ka Mentors program for school students. Though he has been fettered by politicians and parties, Sonu Sood has always said that his charity has nothing to do with politics. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday transferred the first installment of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin to more than 1.47 lakh beneficiaries of Tripura via video conferencing. According to reports, more than Rs 700 crore were credited to the bank accounts of the beneficiaries on the occasion. Notably, Union Rural Development Minister Giriraj Singh and Tripura Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Dev were also present on the occasion. Furthermore, the PMO mentioned that the following the Prime Minister's intervention, a large number of beneficiaries living in Kacha houses to get assistance to construct a Pakka house. Notably, the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana scheme is the ambitious mission of the government aimed at housing for all as India completes 75 years of independence by the year 2022. <laughs> के मार्गदर्शन के लिए आभार प्रकट करता हूं मैं केंद्रीय ग्रामीण विकास मंत्री माननीय श्री गिरिराज सिंह जी तथा त्रिपुरा के मुख्यमंत्री माननीय श्री विप्लव कुमार देव जी को धन्यवाद देता हूं इस कार्यक्रम में शामिल हुए सभी महानुभावों एवं लाभार्थियों को हार्दिक धन्यवाद देता हूं तथा आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी की अनुमति से इस कार्यक्रम के समापन की घोषणा करता हूं That is all for now. This is Gargi Deka signing off. Keep watching Nagaland TV.